Arsene Keone, he is in the Army National Guard and as a flight medic. He suffered a traumatic brain injury from a motorcycle accident that he was involved in. For an individual that was thrown from a motorcycle 30 plus feet, he got up and checked the other vehicle to make sure they were okay. And as soon as the paramedics came and the police, he just collapsed. He was in a coma for two weeks. At that point in time, we didn't know whether Keone would wake up. Within two weeks, we saw our son open his eyes. And from that point on, we said, we are going to do whatever it took to get Keone to recover from this. When I first met Keone, he was on his elliptical machine. They had gotten him on there to do his exercises. And I just remember looking in his eyes and in that moment, I just felt really inspired, like, we can do this. Come on, Keone, we can do this. And I just grabbed onto the handles of the elliptical and said, okay, let's go, ready, go, 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 go. When she turned around and she said, oh, no, Keone, you're gonna do this. He just kind of said, holy crap, this lady means business. Okay, she's challenging me. I think that was the blessing with Sarah's that she knew when to be compassionate and then when you need that tough love, you know, I'm going to give it to you. I respect his right to feel down and I think that that is something he appreciates as well. And he's lost a lot in his life. He needs to be able to express that loss and he needs to be able to, to grieve for the reality of his situation. Some of the times where I felt closest to him were when we're sitting outside, I can tell he's bummed out and I put on some music and it's allowing him to just let out some of those feelings. When you're an individual who's suffering from a prognosis such as traumatic brain injury, the little things count. Sarah always says, okay, Keone, which shorts do you want to wear? Or which shirt do you want to wear? And she'll allow Keone to make that decision. And he's given that power, like, you know what? I still have some type of control in my life. But to be able to have an individual who cares enough to say, hey, you decide what you're gonna wear. You decide what we're gonna do today. And I think that means a lot to him and to us. And I just want her to always know that, that she will always be in our prayers for nothing but blessings because she really deserves it for all that she's done. Not only for Keone, but for our family. She's helped us 